Lovelies, it has been forever since I've uploaded anything. I know it's been like, what, a month or something? Wow, long time no see. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adelia Lauren and I am a lifestyle blogger. So I create content on my personal blog, Instagram, and YouTube now. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell if you are extra friendly. If you want to get connected on other social channels, I'll have my Instagram linked down below as well as my blog URL and other fun stuff. So let's get into today's video. strategies when really you're just binging Shane Dawson's new series I suggest you first watch this video and then unplug from YouTube and go actually study but anyway um, a little background on me I am a pre-med student and I'm also a senior in college so that makes me very very old and that means that I studied a lot so in this video I'm going to be showing kind of an example of a night of studying for me and the strategies that I implement into my everyday studying. Um, some helpful tips to start off, turn off your phone. I know that's really hard. Also, I recommend using certain apps on your computer that help you not get distracted by messages or other notifications and things like that. Um, I also recommend, my highest recommendation is to have a planner and to plan out your studying. So for me, I do not like to take two hours a day to work on one problem set and so I will literally map out the exact time frame when I am studying and so if that's seven to nine then that's seven to nine and I have put that in my planner and then that's what I'm gonna go do so I recommend all of that um, but yeah let's get into this video and if I have any comments at the end we'll see Alright guys, so at the end of a long day, I usually like to change out uh, my regular clothes and shoes and put on something a lot more comfy. Uh, for setup with my homework, I usually like the kitchen nowadays, although I will move around to the couch or my bed. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's actually stuck. <laughs> I might leave this in and be like, well. Anyway, I particularly like this study spot right now because I have plenty of space to work and I can see everything I'm working on. I also really enjoy sitting upright while I study because sometimes if I'm in my bed or on a couch, I have a tendency to either fall asleep or get distracted. So this way I'm more efficient. As I set up my little station here, I do really like to make sure that I have everything out and I can visualize those different tasks I have. Today, I am studying for two classes, so I've got two folders for them, and then I'm also going to be doing some MCAT studying afterwards. Usually though, I will start out with my planner and checking my deadlines and making sure that I'm not missing anything that is due today, although I would have already planned that out. Looking specifically at my planner, um, I particularly love this planner by Corey Clark. It is the Purposeful Planner, and this one that I have has a whole page for each day, and so that way I don't leave any detail out. I have plenty of room to write every little thing on my mind, whether it's my to-do list or how much water I'm getting or my daily schedule, my meal plan, all sorts of stuff. And so right now, I usually like to take a calm minute to either check what I have to do for my homework or write in my planner, making sure that everything is up to date. Now that I've got my schedule together, I will get started on homework for my first class. This class is physics, and I first will get out my notes from the lectures to have alongside me while I work on online problems. So my homework is typically through an online forum, and then I will do my calculations by hand. That way I have extra notes and examples for different problem solutions to have when I study for the exam later. I definitely recommend having all of your materials um, at your disposal 
when you are working through any problem at home just so that you can get in the groove of answering a certain type of question a certain way. That's definitely my biggest help with physics specifically um, because when you have such a math heavy, calculation heavy class, you really want to be able to work through the same type of problem the same way. Once I've completed enough of my regular homework for the day, I then move on to my MCAT studying. I typically, when I'm not in my MCAT course, will just use one of these booklets to answer a bunch of practice problems. Um, I know it sounds really annoying, but I do spend hours in these booklets trying to learn and get some practice in. Fortunately though for me, I don't have to plan out everything with my study schedule for the MCAT, so that's really nice. And finally, my favorite thing to do is check off everything on my to-do list. It is honestly so relaxing. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. It means so much to me that you all engage. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if you have any future suggestions for content, I would love to hear it in the comment section. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much. Mwah.